no place to run this town, Kalakcha. Not what you have stolen. Hand it over, and we will let you live. This is getting tiresome. What's so important about that blasted thing that has them chasing us all over Farron? Ah, take your time. At least the fight's come to us. And the shard of an owl, or we will take it from your corpse. Fool, I shall enjoy killing you. Fight, you pathetic thralls! Kill them all! Why are you still looking at me? Attack! I feel no! walk a strange path for a harborman. Apparently I'm not the only one who has a problem with it. Forgive me, but I saw these things about to attack you. I found I could not simply stand by while you were ambushed. Again, I'd like to help if I could. I've been trying to follow you without interfering, but I don't think you'll reach your destination without someone who knows the land. Yeah, maybe you'd like to share how long you've been tracking us. If you can take your eyes off our leader for more than a moment. I am Eleni, and rather than shadow you, I would walk with you. We're doing fine, thanks. And maybe you'd like to explain why you were following us in the first place. I'd like to know that as well. Tree worshippers tend to keep to themselves and don't pay much mind to travelers who take the roads. I think you will find tree worshippers a rare thing these days, dwarf. So do not use that word lightly. Apparently not rare enough to have you come out of nowhere after following us, for hell's knows why. It's a strange circle of who follows who on this road. At first, I was following those who attacked you. But they seem to be following you. Which leads me to believe there's something you have. Something they want, so... I thought that perhaps my enemies' enemies would at least welcome some company to their destination, and with my help, even get there faster. Well, I come bearing a gift, not just words. I know of a quicker path to Highcliff, and one that will hide your trail as well. There is a druid sanctuary not far from here, the Maiden's Glade, where members of my circle would go for refuge when traveling the land. I can lead you there, and with no further attacks from these hunters of yours, not that you can't handle yourself, but I'm sure you're growing as tired of these attacks as I am. There is something these hunters want from you, and they seem determined to stop you from reaching your destination. So I feel it is my duty to balance things out. Besides, they outnumber you. It's not fair. Little, they are not of the land. That is for certain. They have a strange smell about them, and their speech is like nothing I've heard before. Unless they are speaking to their thralls, it is impossible to make out. But they keep calling you Kalak Cha. Do you know what that means? Then it looks like when it comes to answers, we have little to offer one another. A pity. Very well. That wasn't so hard to admit now, was it? What? We're taking her along? Why? Is there some sort of problem? I'll say. You're still talking, and you're acting like you're coming with us. That's the problem. If you travel only with those you need, instead of out of friendship or loyalty, then perhaps I have misjudged you, and your companions. Maybe you better watch your tongue, because he's done more for us than you've done. Fine. Let's be off. 
Judging by the sun and trail, you were headed to Neverwinter, correct? A shard? Ah, so that would be the silk-wrapped bundle I saw in your pack. It sounds like that is what those creatures are looking for. Hmm. Well, if they seek it, then let us do what we can to keep it from them. Regardless, I appreciate your trust in telling me. Thank you. Let's be on our way. Follow me. The Maiden's Glade is not far. This is a long way from the road. Are you sure you know where you're going? Agreed. How much farther is this place? Not far, for we are already here. This is Eridus, the Maiden's Glade, in the Tongue of Harbormen. You are correct. You surprise me. Just as the Mayor of Dead Men was once Meridelaine, the slow marching cord, this place also had a name long before settlers from Neverwinter set foot here. Did they ever set foot here? I can barely see where we're going. Trust me, it's no better at my height either. Sure as the hells couldn't find my way back to the road now. The road to the Maiden's Glade is hidden, known only to druids and the beasts of the land. You cannot revisit this place without me to guide you. The glade up ahead was a retreat for druids, a place of shelter if they needed to heal or rest. Many such places exist along the coast. The animals here would protect the druids, and they will shield you from your pursuers if they should find you. Uh, you mean those animals? Well, let's see what they're made of! Walk away from this. Maybe for me. The animals here are frightened, and I know not why. There is usually at least one druid in the glade, and they should be aware of the beasts and us. Well, I say we avoid any wolves or anything trying to kill us. I say we fight them. They attack us. We attack them. Besides, <laughs> could use new boots. I think that whatever is wrong here will pursue us to Highcliff. We should investigate if we can. I think you should listen to our leader more. And trust me, if we're really good at sneaking through here, no one's going to follow us. These wolves, they were slaughtered, and not for food, but out of bloodlust. Is this why the animals attacked us? Whatever is wrong must be here in the glade. I thought the circle of the mare would be aware of any disturbance here. But now it seems the task must fall to us. Why? Let's just go. I'm done stopping through these groves and animals, and letting her pick the trail. You have my thanks. I would hate for whatever pursues us to be at our back. Oh, <sighs> 
You are here. Kalil? I... I came here. Came to try and find you, Eleni. To try and escape the mayor. To seek refuge here. The mayor? What is wrong? The mayor. It speaks with different voice now. Its waters, once clear to the circle, are now dark and run deep. So deep. What do you mean? Where are the others, the rest of the circle? Vashni and the others. They are lost. Only you remain. I thought I could find you or Nevan, but what claims the mayor overtook me, clouded my vision with shadows and blood, trapped me in this form. Do not return to the mayor, Eleni. Do not, or you shall fall to its corruption as I did. I, uh, Kalil, he's dead. It was he that caused such unrest here, and why the animals attacked us. I don't know, I... I have been away from the Circle for some time. Kaelil and I are part... We're part of the Circle of Merdelaine, the Mayor of Dead Men. If the Elders... If Vashni is lost, and Nevan is lost... Ah, uh, I have been away too long. But this would explain why I could not feel the Circle any longer. And as for the land... But we should press on. I promise to lead you to High Cliff, and to safety. And so far this path has proved longer than I wished. Farewell, Kaelil. May you rest, and may the glade become peaceful again. Hmm, what? You're risking your entire ship by going out there, Captain. Ignore me if you will, but at least listen to your own men. We're leaving port right now. Nothing's stopping this shipment to Neverwinter, especially not a pack of lizard folk. What are you lot just standing there for? Bring up the sails! Man the oars! The fool is risking a ship worth ten times the cargo he's carrying. And for what? For the sake of a few extra gold for an early delivery. Lizard folk have been sabotaging anything floating that comes into or out of Highcliff. The Double Eagle over there has already had to be repaired three times. The good captain is a fool to think he can sail out without drawing the attention of the lizards. Harbor Master, out there! Looks like the lizard folk have themselves another victim! And I think we've all learned a lesson here. If I say it's too dangerous to sail, it's too dangerous to sail. All right, lads, see what we can do to help those sailors. Let's just hope the lizard folk let them swim ashore. Sorry, but I've got my hands full here. Some of the other sailors should be able to fill you in.
Let me for green.
everyone. Follow How can me. I help? Perhaps so. Yes. Yes. I am listening. Hmm. What? Yeah? Everybody, follow me! Perhaps so. How can I help? Hmm, what?
Hmm. What? Looks like this is the place, but where's... Who are you? Did Maine send you? Whoever you are, you don't look much like a farmer to me. Any reason why you're gracing me with your presence? Is there a reason he should? You don't look worth it. Nishka. Well, it's just the truth. And she asked. Maybe you all better tell me what you're doing here. There's been too many visitors lately, and I really don't have the patience for it anymore. Good. Glad to see the Elder finally got wise enough to protect the grain shipments into High Cliff before winter hits. I've been alone out here ever since the others abandoned their farms and took shelter in High Cliff, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Well, I'm not here by choice. I'm supposed to be making the merchant run through Port Last and Ember right now, but with the recent troubles, I can't leave the farm, let alone take the trade road from High Cliff. I can't even move my harvest into town. And if I can't sell it, I won't make it through the year, not to mention the towns counting on the trade. I have friends in Ember and Port Last expecting shipments this season. It's worse than that. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It happens so suddenly and quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village. And even as far south as Fort Locke is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve. Or worse. Not yet. But it's only a matter of time. No one's been killed, luckily enough. Mostly buildings and houses have been burned, but no deaths. That's strange. I would have thought the lizard folk would have tried to kill the farmers first. They tend to, um... Eat people. <laughs> From what I've heard. I agree. It is unusual. But the lizard folk may be afraid to push Highcliff too far. Too far? After all this? Don't know how much farther these people can be pushed? Shedding the blood of another tribe is different in lizard folk culture. While destroying objects and homes is more, well, territorial is the best way to put it. Well, no one's been killed yet that I've seen. Just a lot of farms burned and grain destroyed or stolen. A few months back. I don't know where they've all come from, but suddenly they're swarming all over the place. A few months ago? These tribes may have been driven here from the mayor. There were a few early on, but none lately. Most of the farms have been abandoned before the lizard folk attack. No one wants to be there when they strike. No, but it must be someplace close by. At first, I thought their lair would be close to the water, but now, now I'm not so sure, and I wonder if they've set up a camp just for attacking the outlying farms. I doubt it's their main lair. It's too far from water, but I've seen fires up at the old ruins. It's only been in the past few days, though, which is strange since the lizard folk were attacking long before that. It's like something's going on up there. I haven't been able to leave the farm long enough to tell anyone. I guess I was counting on the elder to actually send help. The ruins up there are of Highcliff Castle, destroyed in a war some time ago. Lots of magic was thrown around, even talk that demons and devils were summoned and fought each other. I thought I felt something. It's in the ground beneath my feet. Traces of it, anyway. There's lots from the war still buried around here. Some farmers can't take a plow to some fields without turning over an old weapon or two. But that's not what has me worried. Well, yes. I suspect there's a reason that place was never rebuilt. It's always had a strange history. Everyone in Highcliff knows to leave it alone. And there's more than lizard folk troubles nowadays. At least from the tales coming from the Southern Road, don't know if you've heard. There's been sightings of forms walking in graveyards, strange shadows, 
Some of it could be just local drunks talking, sure, but I've heard tales from merchants as far south as Fort Locke. Plenty, but no marked ones. So many battles were fought here. If the dead decided to walk, there'd be an army in no time. That huge gravesite near Fort Locke? That's one of the smaller ones from the war. William? Actually, yes, I did. And he didn't stop when I called to him. He looked frightened. Kept looking back as he ran. I just thought Junie had sent him on some errand. She pushes him a little hard sometimes, but he lets it happen, so I don't have much sympathy. Not much more to tell, but if you want to help, let me just mark the ruins on your map. Why do you have that strange look on your face? What? Where did they come from? My barn! And the harvest! I let down my guard for a second and they were waiting for it. Waiting until I got distracted. And I'll be safe in Highcliff? Where no ship can leave because the lizard folk are destroying them? This... this farm is all I have. And now that my harvest is gone and with winter coming... Look, if you're going to help, do it. I'm so tired of Neverwinter and Fort Locke and the Militia and the Elder and all of them promising to help us out and nothing ever happening. Just once. Just this once. If you can actually do something for Highcliff, for the farmers here, it'd be long past due. I am listening. Dio Novo. Hmm. What? Take <laughs> 
Play me for green. Stay back. Slan not fight you. Slan must get help. Slan leads clan here to sink human boats. Dead ones attack Slan's warriors. Slan escape. Slan must ask chief for more warriors to fight. Yes. Humans invade our lands. Hunt us. Humans need to be stopped. Master of the Fifth Tower, you grace me with your presence. Yes, I am certain. The raising of the army and the attacks on Fort Locke. How do they proceed? There have been complications, my lord. One of our disciples near Fort Locke has been slain. It shall not affect our plans at the fort. 
nor the raising of our troops. Our power runs strong here. The war our master pursued here so long ago still fuels our magic. Our enemies shall not prevail. As long as Neverwinter is occupied, then you have served me, and through me, your master. We are all in the service of the King of Shadows, Lord Garius. Sometimes we forget he is all around us, and there are no ranks and hierarchies before him. Think what you will, as long as you carry out my orders. Ah, it seems someone else has come to pay their respects, priest. Perhaps the same ones who slaughtered the priest at Fort Locke. I suggest you deal with them before you share the same fate. How can I help? Perhaps so. Yes. Hmm. What? Swiftly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Both walk away from this.
You will regret that. Well, well, well. Looks like this one needs some special attention. Strike true. Walk away from them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Strike true. Close and step where I step.
I have to lighten this load. Stay close and step where I step.